Clearly forgotten her brolly. Now, to a story of an extraordinary journey from bull ring market trader to bravery commendations for work in Miami ghettos. Billy Sutton believes he's lucky to be alive. The flower seller became an alcoholic, but turned his life around 42 years ago after being found close to death on the floor of his warehouse. His life is now the subject of a film which premiered in Birmingham this afternoon. Lindsay Doyle went to meet him. Look at yourself, Sutty. He's the grandson of a peaky blinder. He sold flowers on the streets of Birmingham as a child, became an alcoholic, then went on to help drug addicts on the streets of Miami. Now the life of Billy Sutton is the subject of a film. They've got the essence, the bad part of my life, in the flower wearers, confrontations with the mother. All I've tried to achieve all my life is give inspiration, not only to the alcoholic, but the suffering families. Billy's darkest hour came 42 years ago, and it was Midlands Today presenter, the late Alan Towers, who he says saved his life after finding him collapsed in his flower warehouse, surrounded by empty vodka bottles. Without Towersy finding me in that warehouse, giving me a reality check, getting me to AA meetings, without that great friend, I wouldn't be standing here today. A scene which is depicted in The Legend Plays On by an independent production company which premiered at Tally Hill Conference Centre in Edgbaston this afternoon. Well, when I first met him, I thought he was... Uh, I, I didn't know it, yeah. I, I thought con artist at first. Um, but, yeah, as I got to know him and I got, got, got to find out, he's the most genuine and caring person I've ever met. Through his work with non-league football and his newfound sobriety, Billy began to help young people with drink and drug problems, which ultimately took him to Miami to confront the mobs pushing crack cocaine in the 80s and then go on to help the addicts to try to recover. He's a legend over there. He went over there at the time of the series Miami Vice, but the real Miami Vice was very different. They didn't have glamorous cars, they didn't have glamorous clothes. They were tough men doing a very dangerous job and Billy was one of them. Today it was all about celebrating a life which, in Billy's words, has been to hell and back. I'm the grandson of Austin Kelly, a leading figure of PG Blinders. He went the wrong way, I went the right way, but I'm sure looking down on me he'll be proud of me today. Honoured 14 times by Miami police, commended three times for bravery, Billy's darkest hours ultimately led to one of Birmingham's brightest lights. Lindsay Doyle, BBC Midlands Today in Birmingham. Incredible story. Now we'll get the forecast from.